Mining fan from Checker Peak Brewery. Today we're going to be talking about our brand new yeast brink. Um, a yeast brink that we can you can use to dump all your yeast, to harvest all your yeast in an oxygen free environment. Uh, we'll also show you through a few tricks on how you can get uh, dry hops in there and do some oxygen free dry hopping. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll zoom in, we'll show you through exactly how it works and exactly how it can work for your equipment at home. So as you can see now, um, I've got the, the yeast brink uh, set up on this uni tank here. Um, so we've just used this little elbow here, so one and a half inch clamped onto there. Uh, so we've got it set up right now on the racking arm. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways with yeast harvesting and yeast dumping, plus how you can use it for hops and dry hopping. Uh, so it's on the racking arm, so uh, just purpose built for that uh, for the video. But if you were to do the yeast harvesting and yeast dumping, you'd be putting it onto the do uh, bottom valve just here. Uh, but for video purposes, we'll show you this way. Um, so you can see closer in here now, uh, so there's that inner tubing. So like I said before, uh, that's all removable. So if you want to put a bigger uh, sight glass on here to make a bigger yeast brink, you can do that. And then you just need to um, get uh, some le longer length tubing inside. So it's completely up to you what sort of size uh, yeast brink you need uh, to set up for your uh, dry hopping and yeast dumping and the size of your fermenters. First up, I'll show you uh, from a yeast uh, dumping and yeast harvesting point of view. Uh, so when you're at your yeast dumping uh, process, you don't want any ox oxygen in your beer at that point. Uh, so what this little uh, yeast brink is gonna uh, do, uh, through this uh, fallout valve here, it's gonna allow you to exhaust all the uh, oxygen out as you dump the yeast. So if this wasn't on here and you're opening up your valve, a lot of oxygen's going up into the tank there. Uh, so I'll show you quickly now exactly uh, how that works. Uh, so when you do it, all you're gonna need uh, is a ball up uh, gas fitting here, disconnect, and then it's open-ended here. So I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna push it straight on there like that. So as you can see now, um, we've got this uh, set up ready for our yeast dumping. Um, you've got your ball lock on there, that's um, the open-ended, uh, going into that the water over there. So you'll see all the oxygen uh, dispersing out of the yeast brink as we dump this yeast. So completely oxygen free environment. All we want to do is slowly up the top here, open up our valve. And you'll see as the yeast dumps into that yeast brink, you've got the bubbling over there dispersing all the oxygen at the same time. Now you can see it all set up. Um, we've dumped our yeast. Uh, so this is full of uh, water at the moment, so this would be your yeast in there. So from here, there's a couple of options you can do. So if you're running multiple fermenters, uh, what you can do easily is to take this yeast brink off here and then insert it into your, and clamp it onto your next fermenter. And then we can get this yeast that's harvested ready to go and we can pump it back up into our next uh, fermentation tank. Uh, so I'll quickly show you how we're gonna do that. So we've got our four uh, gas fitting here. And so this is connected to a gas bottle. Um, so we can connect it straight up here onto our ball lock fitting. And then with our gas bottle, you don't need to set it up too, uh, too high. So just sort of uh, two to three PSI. Now I've got a little bit of pressure in here and we're gonna show you uh, all the water in here. Once we open up this valve slowly, it's gonna shoot back up into the tank. So you can see I've just opened up that valve there. The pressure in this yeast brink has shot the yeast back up into the tank. So this yeast brink, as we were saying before, you can use it uh, to do dry hopping in a completely oxygen-free environment. Uh, so similar to before when we were dumping our yeast, uh, we've got our ball lock fitting on there, and then we've got our, uh, our open-ended into this water to show you the oxygen uh, dispersing out of the yeast brink. Uh, so what you would do if you were doing dry hopping you first fill up your yeast brink uh, with the amount of dry hops that you need. So once you've got your dry hops in your actual yeast brink, at this point, this is when you would disperse a little bit of this beer into that yeast brink until it's filled up and then you shut that back off and you would notice over there all the oxygen bursting out of this yeast brink. Uh, so now what you've got, you've got your hops in there all with your beer and then you just need to leave that for about half an hour or so and that's going to rehydrate up all those hops they're going to go into a slurry and then you're going to be able to shoot them back up into your tank so completely oxygen free environment uh, no contact with oxygen there so at this point we've got our hops in there they're ready to shoot back up into the tank they've been rehydrating for about half an hour or so um, it's into a slurry so now we just need to connect this back up to our gas bottle 
And then we're going to shoot these hops back up into the tank. So like I said, it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Slowly open that and you'll see back up into your tank like that. So obviously today uh, we use the SS Brewtech uh, Uni Tank to, to go through this demonstration of using our yeast spring. Um, it can go across multiple different fermenters. Uh, so the main consideration you need for these yeast springs is to have a one and a half inch triclover fitting off your fermenter. Uh, so obviously easy with these Uni Tanks, so the Nano Uni Tanks, the SS Brewtech Uni Tanks. Uh, they're custom there, ready to go. Um, with these uh, little brew buckets, uh, they've got the threaded fitting down here. Uh, so you'll be able to get a reducer on there, threaded reducer, and get these one and a half inch triclover fittings on there. And then from there, you'll be able to use these yeast springs. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that gave you a bit of an insight into our new yeast springs um, and how you can use them for yeast dumping, yeast harvesting, and oxygen-free uh, dry hopping. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.